This video was sponsored by oddbeachexpress.com. Oddbeach Express Stock Media by subscription is a new site that offers high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Their content includes stock footages up to 5K resolution, music, sound effects, images, and After Effects templates. Sign up today for a free account at oddbeachexpress.com and receive 19 free pre selected stock media downloads. No credit cards, payments, or obligations required. Create your free account today. Hello everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to do some clean lower thirds in Adobe After Effects. So what you see right now on the screen is what I'm gonna show you today. Clean lower thirds awesome people are my personal favorite because they make for an excellent stepping stone for anyone who is new to After Effects or new to motion design. And even if you are an intermediate user, the end product adds a lot of production quality to your client's video. So even if you are an experienced user in, in AE, it, they are very, very helpful to us. So with that being said, awesome people, I'm going to show you how to create uh, the examples that you see right now on the screen. Right. So uh, let's create a new composition first and this is going to be the first step and I'm going to call this main. Now it depends on why exactly are you creating lower thirds. Most of the times awesome people you'll be creating lower thirds as a template to, to, uh, to use later or to sell on a marketplace. For example video hive but say uh, you know sometimes you're using it for creating you know uh, lower thirds straight for a client who's who's a video editing you may be doing uh, but in any situation the first thing is to always always and always do the graphic design so I'm gonna take my text tool and I'm gonna type uh, something out so I'm gonna type my friend's name Andy Banner G right now just one G okay um, I'm gonna type and I'm gonna and I'm working with a font called Roboto let's say it's an excellent font uh, and for free so you can download it and work with it and uh, the next is to again to basically just uh, align everything properly I'm gonna squish this text down I'm gonna call this motion designer right actually I'm a motion designer this guy is a compositor but anyways and uh, I'm gonna change its, uh, its uh, weight to light right this this makes up for a good contrast in our design next awesome people is to create some stroke animations to give it a little more uh, you know closure to, to the design so I'm gonna take the hit the G key for going to the pen tool and uh, as you can see awesome people it looks very easy and the the designing and the technical part is also easy but just the graphic design can take a lot of time so you know what I'm just gonna you know take something from my design that I've already made Alright, so this one looks good to me, the bottom one. I'm gonna push this down. Alright. Alright. Hit the G key for going to the pen tool and click here. And also, awesome people, you want to make sure that you don't have any layer selected. If you have any layer selected and you start clicking, this is gonna basically become a mask. Alright, so, so we don't want that. Uh, make sure that nothing is selected and then click here. Oh, sorry. Click here click here here and here right now the, the, I purposely drew this completely wrong and the reason I did that is to show you a few shortcuts if you press a G key and then hold on the control key and uh, click on one of these lines right you can select both of their nodes and then you can move them individually like this right and I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard for moving or nudging the the nodes I'm gonna select this layer or select this text layer and I'm gonna push this up like so and this awesome people isn't all that bad I think this line though can use a little bit of nudging so again press a G key hold on the control key key and click on this line and just squish it in like so superb this looks good to me next awesome people what we'll do is and maybe this could use a little bit more work Alright, this looks good to me. Next awesome people is to pre-compose these text layers. Uh, even if you are working with a client and are not trying to create a template, it's really good to pre-compose things so you can just change them later and your animation is going to update instead of, you know, trying to fix the animation again or doing the full animation again. So select this text layer, pre-compose, Control shift c and I'm going to call this main title. And I'm going to open the new composition right now because I want to change something and this is important. So focus. Click OK and you're going to give in into this new composition where all of this is just blank space right this 
this thing blank space nothing is here and this is not what we want we don't want such a big composition for just our text so i'm going to squish that composition down right click composition settings and i'm going to start squishing it like this right now there is no way for me to know how big this text is right so i'm just going to have to brainstorm a little bit i'm going to say 500 and i'm going to put in uh, 75 there so i'm going to select this text layer and use a align panel for bringing it to the center and as you can see 500 is a little short so I'm going to change it to 600 superb this I think uh, is going to work fine and you can see that our text is a little haywire but that's okay we can fix it we can just bring it in like this right now the one thing you want to see too is that your line and your uh, the precomp that you just made for your text is basically almost of the same height a little bit here and there is fine but you don't want there to be this much of a difference okay so we'll go here and we'll reduce this from 600 to say 550 and maybe even squish the text down just a bit I'm gonna go to 97.5 alright if we go to the main that we were making there you go awesome people the text is fitting in inside the precomp and the precomp is fitting inside the shape layer that we just made superb this is great we'll do the same thing for the other text layer that we have so pre-compose this I'm gonna call this subtitle uh, comp right and again open new composition and again all of this blank space blank space so delete this I right, click composition settings and I'm gonna change this to 500 by 7 not for 75 say 50 and I think this is so big <laughs> we need to squish it down even more so composition settings 400 and let's see no even more I'm gonna go down to 250 and okay maybe a little bit more than that uh, make it to 300 and superb this I think works right okay I'm gonna bring this back bring down my text layer right there correct and this is superb now awesome people if you ever see any anomalies where the the text layer is being a little blurred or a little pixelated then what you can do is you can switch on this uh, this sun star sort of icon for the layer and all that you know dirty uh, pixelation is gonna go away superb now awesome people we just need to animate this and animating this is actually very very simple so here is how you do it you first and I'll rename this to line Right. So the first thing I'm going to animate is the line and it's very easy to do that. Uh, I'm going to select this layer, hit the U key two times to reveal all of this. Go to add, take trim parts right there, open this and I'm going to animate, I think, I'm going to animate the start of this. Right. So I'm going to first increase the start all the way to 100, basically to the point where the shape layer is no longer visible. Right. Start the animation for start, move ahead in time to about 130 and bring it down. And select the keyframes, hit the F9 key, go to the graph editor, select this node and I'm gonna add an ease to it like this. Alright, there you go. This looks good but I think I prefer the old knee F9, the dome curve that we get. Right, that works a little bit better to me. Maybe I'll speed it up a bit by, you know, squeezing the animation down to one second. Superb, this looks good to me. Now awesome people, I'm gonna go to the subtitle comp and we basically need to animate this now. Now, you have to see that there is this gap problem, right, between the shape layer and the text layer, so we need to fix this first. Uh, I'm gonna select my shape layer, hit the G key again, hold on the control key, uh, key, click on the line, and then just nudge it in like this. Zoom out a little bit and nudge it in like this. Right, superb. That looks superb to me. Uh, next, go to the subtitle. Now, a little bit of space is fine. You can see right now also it's not a pitch perfect, but a little bit of space is fine. But a lot, you know, should be avoided. And what I want is I want my text to come in from this, uh, from this side, and I want it to be revealed by the line. Right. So I'm gonna hit the. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna select this layer select the rectangle tool and double click on it to add a mask to the precomp and the automatically awesome people the mask let me show it to you the mask is going to be made of the size of the precomp 
right that's superb tool this down animate the property for mask path hit the p key for position animate that too i'm going to use one of the rulers here just drag it out like this make sure that your comp player is selected and align a ruler to the mask that was here this is going to basically serve as a guideline for us and what we are trying to do is that if we move the position of this layer out like this you can see that the mask also moved right but we want the mask to stay static and only the position to move so what we'll do we have the position animation that's good but we want the mask to stay static so now we'll go to the mask hit the m key for revealing the mask path position start the animation move back in time and now i'm going to click on this mask one so that every everything all the points get selected and then i'm just going to nudge it in like this right i'm using my shift arrow keys for moving the mask around like so right and you want to see to it that both of these have the same kind of eases okay so if one of them has easy ease and one doesn't then your animation is going to be a little faulty you see that so this is not what we want we want both of them to have the same eases so f9 both of them go over here and add an ease like this right and there you go next awesome people we're going to repeat this process for our main title so select this first double click on the rectangle tool so it gets a mask basically and now we need to animate the position and the mask path right move back in time and depending on how you want the animation to be i want the animation to be sort of revealed from the bottom right so it complements the the line animation that we have so i'm going to move the mask down now before we do that please place a ruler here right so you know where the mask is supposed to touch so now if you bring this layer down like so right we can even start the mask path animation we can select the mask and we can push the mask up and you want to push it to the place where it is touching the ruler line that we just set up hit the u key for revealing its keyframes f9 those keyframes go to the graph editor select them and push it them like this and there you go awesome people you have a nice uh, you know animation done now awesome people just to add it uh, add a little more depth to to the full thing what we'll do is we will delay this layers a little bit like so right and now let's see what we have i think that the delay is a little too long so i'm going to reduce the delay and that looks good to me so that is how you do a very simple animation uh, but a very clean cut animation for lower thirds in adobe after effects you can of course add in some motion blur but you'll have to do it for all the pre comps too i believe oh no it works right so that is how you do it awesome people my name is cj style thank you so much for joining me on this video uh, i hope you guys understood how to do some killer clean lower thirds in adobe after effects and if you have any doubts uh, feel free to message me on facebook you know like my facebook page like this video on youtube please subscribe to my channel zen gen learning and i will see you all next time take care everyone